the last lecture uh, we have seen the total probability theorem and uh, we have solved the uh, problems based on the total probability theorem also okay so let us try uh, some more examples based on the uh, total probability theorem and then uh, we know the inverse probability so what is the inverse probability we know better know it by the name uh, bayes theorem okay so in total probability what we do is uh, we try to find out the probability of the event over the partition and that's why uh, this we all as a total probability whereas in uh, bayes theorem we try to find out the probability of a partition over the event and that's why uh, it is called as inverse uh, probability or we try to find out what is the source of that event and then that's why uh, we call it as the inverse probability also or the bayes theorem also okay let us uh, try uh, the example based on uh, the the <coughs> probability theorem first okay so we will uh, see the uh, example based on the probability theorem So I hope uh, you are able to uh, read this example. Are you able to see this example? Yes. Okay. That's great. And so, uh, what we have here, uh, we have the chances that A, B, and uh, C will be the uh, education minister of uh, government of India. And the chances of this A, B, C are close to one to two. Then uh, we have the probability that they will introduce the reservation in professional colleges or backward classes. Okay, are uh, point three, point eight, and point five respectively. Now uh, we have to find the probability uh, that the bill for reservation will be introduced. Okay, so that's what uh, we have here. Now, uh, if we go through the example, then uh, if I want to use, uh, or if I want to understand what I have to use, then I need to understand the two things. Okay, one uh, is what is going to be the event, and what is going to be the partition. Okay, so here in this example, uh, we need to understand what is the partition, and we need to understand what is the event. Okay, so. Uh, can you tell me what will be the partition and what will be the event uh, in this uh, example? So, can you tell me what will be the event and what will be the partition in this example? Partition is minister. Event is uh, yeah. partition is uh, minister, and the event is uh, introduction of reservation. Okay. So actually, the partition is yeah, somewhat it is correct, but uh, three minister. We cannot have the three minister. We have three candidates to be minister. Again. Okay. So we have three candidates A, B, and C to be minister. Okay, only one of them will be the minister. And then the event is uh, correct. The event is introduction of a bill or reservation. Okay, so that is the event. Okay, so once we know the event, once we know the uh, partition, then definitely we are able to uh, find or we are able to formulate the problem. Then uh, we are able to find. Uh, the probability uh, what is required. Okay, so let us uh, try. Okay, so here uh, we have this candidates, three candidates, okay, to be minister. Okay, so B 
की हाफ so on um, the above let a b and c b the candidates for education is yes, okay. so what is given the chances of A, B, and C. B, minister of. What are the chances? Four to one to two. Okay, so these are the chances. Now, uh, from these chances, what we can do is how many total is there? Seven. So, what is the probability of A to be the minister is four out of seven. The probability of B to be the minister is one out of seven, and the probability of C to be minister is two by seven. So these are the probabilities of the candidates A, B, and C to be the minister. Now, what is the event? So let He did the event that the bill for reservation is introduced. Okay, so this is the event that uh, the bill uh, is introduced. Now, if A becomes minister, what are the what is the probability that bill will be uh, introduced? That means. The event A had happened. The A has become minister, and now we are finding the probability that the event will be, event will happen or the bill will be introduced. So it is point three. So that means what I have here. Okay, I know then we have probability that the bill will be introduced when A becomes minister is point three. So it is going to be three by ten. Next, uh, the probability that bill will be introduced when B becomes minister is pointed, so it is going to be eight by ten. And the probability that the bill will be introduced when C becomes minister, okay, is point five. And so it will be having point by ten. Okay, so you can have uh, these probabilities. And now uh, you can see what we are interested in. Okay, so we are interested in the probability that the bill for the reservation will be introduced. Okay, so the probability of E. So we are interested in probability of E. And we know this is the partition. Then this is the conditional probability over the partition. Okay, and then uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to find the probability. So we can say. I okay. So what we have here, uh, we have to use uh, the total probability. Because we want to find out uh, the probability of the event. Okay, so what we have? Why? 
mathematical probability theorem. Okay. Uh, we have okay, what we are having here. Uh, we want the probability that the bill is introduced. So we have probability that A becomes minister and he introduces the bill. Okay. Plus or the probability that B becomes minister and he introduces the bill or the probability that C becomes the minister and the bill is introduced by C. Okay. So we know basic thing about the probability when we say and uh, then we go for product when we say or then we go for uh, summation. Okay. So here uh, we need to write all the probabilities. Probability that they will become a minister is 4 by 7. And what is the probability that they will introduce the bill is 3 by 10. Plus, what is the probability that uh, B will become minister is 1 by 7. And what is the probability that uh, he will introduce uh, the bill is uh, 8 by 10. What is the probability that the C will become minister, education minister, and uh, he will introduce the uh, Bill. So it is going to be 5 by 10. Again, okay. we have to uh, send all the probabilities. Again, okay. so 4 by 7, 3 by 10, 1 by 7, or uh, then 8 by 10, or uh, 2 by 7, and uh, 3 by 10. Okay, so that should be now. Now uh, we can see that uh, this is easy. So you are having uh, 12 by 17, plus you can write 8 by 17, and plus you can have here. Uh, 10 by 7. So we can check this as 12 plus 8 plus 10 by 7. So we can have it as is equal to we have here 30 by 7. So we can simplify the uh, we can write by 7. So what we got here we got that the probability that the bill will be introduced, anybody becomes the education minister, A or B or C, is going to be the by 7. We are going to become uh, the education minister, either B or C. The bill will be introduced with the probability B by 7. And so that's what. Uh, Uh, or we can know what are the chances that will be introduced. Now tell me whether this probability is uh, better than 1 or less than 1. Whether this probability of introducing uh, the bill is greater than 1 or less than 1? Yeah, that's great. Uh, so it is less than 1. And, and otherwise it has to be less than 1. Okay. So we always have to be careful that when we talk about the probability, Less than one. Ah, that's good. All of you know. Great. Okay, so you understood the concept of uh, probability. That's great. Okay. So, is there any doubt uh, in this example? Is there any doubt uh, in this example? No doubt. No. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay, so here uh, we know perfectly the total probability now. Let us try the inverse probability or let us try the Bayes theorem. Okay, so what we have in Bayes theorem? Okay, so we'll see uh, the example of uh, Bayes theorem. I hope uh, we are able to uh, uh, read this example. Okay. So, uh, see here what we have. Okay. So, uh, we have given a bag contains uh, three 
two points and one false point. Okay, so the false point has here on both sides. So when I toss a true point, there are the chances that either I will get uh, here or I will get L. But uh, when I toss a false coin, then definitely I am going to get here only. Okay, so that's why this is a false coin. Now, uh, what had happened or what was the random experiment done? A coin is chosen at random. So one coin is taken out of these four coins and tossed four times. Okay, so if I toss any coin four times, uh, if it is a fair coin, then I'll have 16 observations. Okay, but if it is a false coin, then I'll have only one observation. But I'll always get here because this false coin has a head on both sides. So I'll always get here with this false coin. But if I uh, take this true coin, then I'll have the 16 observations because I am tossing this coin four times. Okay. Now, uh, what happened? What happen if head occurs all the four times? So that means we have a coin toss, and then uh, we are getting always uh, head. So all four times uh, we are getting head. Now, see here what is the probability that the false coin was chosen and used? Okay, so this is the question we have. Okay, and then uh, we want to find out the answer. So, can you tell me what is the partition and what is the event here? So, partition and a de event depend on the partition. So, what is going to be the partition and uh, what is going to be the event defined on the partition? So event is choosing and using the false coin. Okay, what is the partition? Partitions are points. Event is choosing a false coin. Partition is correct, but event is something different. Read the question carefully with the event. Yes, we got the answer correct. Yeah. So, event is getting four heads. Okay. So, we have chosen a coin. We don't know whether it is a true coin or whether it is a four coin. We have tossed this coin four times. And now, uh, we claim that we have got all four heads. Okay. So, that is the event. Okay. So, the partition is coins, true coin and false coin. Okay, because either you will choose true coin or you will choose false coin. Okay, you cannot have both together because we are choosing only one coin. Okay, so either it will be true or it will be false. So this is the partition. Okay, then uh, the event is we have tossed this coin four times. Okay, and then we got four heads. So getting four heads is the event. And now uh, we want to find out the probability. So that means, see, we have chosen one point, then we have uh, seen that uh, we have tossed this point four times and we have seen that already four heads we have got. So that means the partition from the partition we have created an event and now after getting the event, I want to find out uh, on the partition which was I have chosen. So whether the coin was a false coin or whether the coin was a true coin. And then out of that only I have to choose whether it was a false coin. Okay, so what if, if it was a false coin? So that means I have to find out the probability of the partition over the event. Okay, I don't have to find the probability of the event now, but I have to find out the probability that the false coin was used. Okay, means first, when I have chosen a coin, it was a false coin. So that is called source because. Uh, do that experiment of uh, tossing the coin four times, I have to choose a coin. So that means a source I have to choose, then I can have the event. Now I know the event and I want to find out what is the source. So this is called inverse probability. 
Yeah, this is called inverse probability. And that's why now in the Bayes theorem we have to take care of that. Okay. So let us write this in all symbols. So we can use uh, the mathematical symbol and we can simplify the answer or we can get the probability using Bayes theorem. Okay, so we will go with the following form. Okay, what we have here? A, a bag has four points. There are three two points and one false point. Okay, so we have and we have probability of a uh, true coin is going to be uh, three by four because there are three coins out of four coins. And we have probability of false point is going to be one by four because there is only one point, uh, false point out of this uh, four. Okay, so then consider. Okay, yeah, what is the probability of uh, getting here? What is the probability of getting here when two coin is used? Okay, yeah, because we want to get all heads. Okay, so probability that probability that I got head when two coin is used, and then uh, I have to find what is the probability that getting head when false coin is used. So can you tell me what is the probability that the I will get head when I use uh, I will use true coin, and I will get head when I use false coin. Now I know that uh, I am using true coin. So what is the probability that I'll get head? What is the probability of head? Yes. Okay. Because the when I use true coin, that means either it will be head or it will be tail. So the probability is going to be half. What about false coin now? Yes. Because if I use false coin, uh, false coin, always I'll get uh, head. Okay, so the probability is going to be one in that case. Okay, so this is how we have to think and uh, we have to analyze uh, the terms. Okay, so when I use the fair coin or uh, true coin, I'll get half, and when I use uh, the false coin, I'll get one. So in case of uh, this true coin, I'll be having the probability half. In case of uh, the false coin, I'll be having uh, one. So that's what we have, and now uh, we have to define uh, the event. So the event is that a coin is chosen at random and tossed four times. Okay. So the event is that the coin is chosen and tossed four times, and we got all four heads. Okay. So getting four heads is the event. Okay. So we have E is the event. Getting four heads. Okay, so coin is tossed four times and we got four heads. Now, what are the chances that uh, if I use true coin and then I'll get four heads? So the probability that I'll get four heads when I will use true coin. Okay, and the probability that I'll get four heads. Then I will use a false. Okay, yeah, so think over this. Uh, see what we have. We are uh, tossing a coin four times. Okay, yeah. so you can think of the sample space of this experiment. So how many elements you will have? If I toss a coin four times, how many elements you will have? Yeah, Anushka says eight. What about uh, the others? Who says sixteen? Swam so also says sixteen. Pooja also says sixteen. Okay. So actually, when you do the coin tossing experiment, 
okay the number of times you cross the point suppose it is here then you will get two rest to n observations okay if you roll a die and uh, you want to get uh, the observation so number of times you roll the die that number will be the power of 6 so suppose you have, uh, you roll one die then you will have having 6 uh, rest to 1 if you roll it twice then you will be having 6 square again okay. and like that so in this case we are uh, crossing this uh, point four times okay so the number of observations will have 2 rest to 4 and that is going to be 16 so we will have 16 observation and now once we have the 16 observation how many observations will satisfy your criteria that all four hairs yeah that will be only one okay because what are the chances you will having you will have zero head you will have one head you will have two head you will have three head you will have four heads okay and our event is getting four heads so that is one out of 16 observations okay i mean uh, what we what is the probability that the true coin was selected and then uh, we got all four heads okay so the probability is going to be uh, 1 by 16 so here the probability is 1 by 16 and here the probability is 1 because all four times you toss this uh, false coin and you will get head always okay so you are having uh, this is going to be one okay and now i want i want the probability okay so probability that uh, see the question the probability that the false coin was chosen when we know that four had happened okay so what is the probability i know this event had happened and now i want the uh, f to happen that means is to be chosen okay so we have we have Calculate the probability that the event that means four heads we have obtained, and uh, we want to know that what are the chances the false coin was used. Okay, this is what false coin was used, and we get four heads. Here, what we want to find out is four heads we have got, and then uh, we have to find out the false coin was used. Okay, so. This is what uh, we have to calculate. Then we can say, okay, base theorem. Okay, so we have to find out the conditional probability of the partition over the event. So how yeah, we got that? P of e by t is equal to one by sixteen. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you explain again? Yeah. Uh, um, let me know which. Arthi sir. Arthi, okay. Ah, uh, no problem. So, ah, uh, what is your question? Ah, uh, how do we got the uh, probability of e on e by t as is one. equal to one by sixteen and one? That one. Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. So that's what you want to know. Okay. Fine. Okay. Ah, uh, we'll see that. Okay. So this is the probability that you want to see, no? How do we got uh, this? E on t is one by sixteen, and yes, probability sir. of uh, e of t is uh, one. Okay, no, no, that's great. Okay, so uh, let us see. We are doing an experiment. Okay, so uh, if false coin is selected, okay, correct. Suppose a uh, false coin is selected. And I want uh, the event E. Okay, get four heads. Okay, yeah. uh, what is the speciality of this uh, false coin? That when you toss it, you will get always head. Okay, so uh, toss this uh, coin, uh, false coin, four times. Okay, first will be head, second will be head, third will be head, and fourth will be head. Correct. because uh, you are crossing this point so this is your sample space again yeah. what do you have this is the sample space because you will have only one observation again yeah. you when you are uh, crossing a false point you will have only one observation and that observation will have all four uh, four uh, edge so here what e we have 
e is equal to yes okay and what is the probability of yes we have one so which is probability of e okay that's what you will be having in this case when false coin is used so that's why i am denoting this as probability of getting all four rates when false coin is used okay now uh, what about uh, the true coin okay so if true coin is used or is uh, selected now see when i select uh, this true coin and i have this event uh getting four heads okay so when we uh, select a true coin and uh, we want to get head this true coin is crossed uh, four times okay so what will be the sample space okay so sample space when this uh, true coin is crossed four times so you have all t t t then you have uh 3t and 1h then you'll be having uh this yeah then you'll be having eh tt then you'll be having h tt okay now uh, we have two heads so you'll be having hh tt then you'll be having h here as it is okay so eh T, then you'll be having H as it is, and uh, you'll be having here T T H. Okay. And now uh, what we have, we have to move this H onwards. Okay. So if I move this H, then what you can have is this H. Okay. Yeah, this remains as it is. Now I am moving this H here. Okay. Yeah. So. If I move it here, I'll get this one. Okay. Now, if I move it here, I'll get H, T T H. Okay. So these are the observations you will have. Now, if I consider this two H here. Okay. So what we'll get here? See, I'll have T T H H. Okay. And then I'll have the next t h t h okay then uh, what you can have the next so do you have any other combination of uh, this uh, 2 h okay so that's what you're going suppose uh, 3 h we have okay then what will have for 3 h the exactly like this so you're going H H H the complementary event of this T then you'll be having H H T H then you'll be having H T H H and then you'll be having T H H H so that will be the three uh, S okay and now uh, think of the four S okay so We'll have uh, four head as H H H H. Then okay. uh, more uh, we are having. So we are uh, missing them. This uh, you can have. Then okay. H uh, we are having. Then uh, TPS and PST. So, what else uh, we can now? So for this, we have this four events. This is four. This is four. So, what uh, we can now? H at one place, two place, uh, last, second, last, third, and first. So here, uh, in case. First, second, third, and then we'll be having two H and two T's. Uh, what else uh, we can have? We can have E H H T. Yeah. 
So now we can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So yes, this is the sample space, yes. Okay, and now uh, see here. So how many heads we want? We want four heads. Okay, so how many uh, favorable outcomes are we have in this experiment? So number of uh, elements in E is going to be one. And what that is going to be? H, 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 H. So what is the probability of uh, E? So it is going to be one by six. Yeah. And uh, this had happened. When this had happened, if the true point is selected. So this is what I have written as the probability of uh, the getting four heads when the true point is selected. And uh, this is what you have in the probability when uh, the false coin is. So, you got your doubt clear, Arti? Yes, sir. I understood. Okay, you got it now? And how we got this 1 by 16 and this is going to be 1? Yes, sir. Okay. I got it. The probabilities when the true point is selected and the false point is selected. And so this is our R of 4. And uh, we come back to our example. Okay. So here uh, we got these two probabilities. Now, uh, by uh, Bayes theorem, we want to find out the probability of the false point when uh, we get four heads. Okay. So, uh, we have having here the probability of using false point when uh, we got four heads is equal to probability of uh, getting four heads when false point was used and the probability of false point upon probability that we get four heads when false spine was used into the probability of false spine plus the probability of getting four heads when two points was used or uh, two point was used and the probability of uh, the two point. Okay, so here uh, we have all these probabilities. Okay, so probability of two point, probability of false spine, point and the probability of getting four heads for a false point. Okay, and then uh, we can write this. So we get here. So probability of uh, getting uh, four heads when the false point was used. Okay, and uh, here uh, we have the probability. So it is one, one into one by four, and here we have plus. So it is uh, 1 by 16 into uh, 3 by 4. Okay. So here we have, now let us simplify this. So we are having, uh, this is 1 by 4. So I can have 1 by 4 common from uh, the denominator. And I'll have here 1 uh, plus uh, 3 by 16. So this uh, 1 by 4 I can cancel and I'll be having 1 upon 1 plus 3 by 16. So it is 1 upon 19 by 16. And so I can write this as 16 by 19. Okay. So see that uh, we got four heads. Uh, the false coin was used. False coin was used to get the four heads. We got Four rates had already happened and the coin used was false coin. So this probability is false. Okay. So this way, uh, in this example, uh, we have reached to the source okay, from the event. Okay, earlier we used to calculate the probability of event over uh, the, the probability of event only. Now here, the probability of event and then uh, the source. 
Yeah, so this is the inverse uh, probability, yeah, and that's why Bayes theorem is also called as the uh, inverse probability. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what uh, we have. So do you have any doubt uh, in this example now? Do you have any doubt uh, in this example? Have you got this example? Okay. Okay. So, if you do not have any doubt in this example, let's go for the another example. Okay. So, we'll see the another example. You see it. Okay. So uh, we have a coin is plus. Now this coin is a pair coin or a true coin. So when it is not mentioned, obviously we have to consider it is a true coin. So a true coin is plus if uh, it turns up red. Two balls are drawn from an A. Okay. Otherwise. Two balls are drawn from P. Then, what happens with this uh, two balls now? Okay, so on A contains three black and five white balls. On B contains seven black and one white ball. Now, uh, this uh, two balls are drawn. So what is the probability that? On A was used, given that both balls drawn are black. Okay, so we got two black balls. Now I want to find out what is the probability that on A was used. Okay, so here uh, we need to understand what is the partition and what is the event. So can you tell me what is the partition and what is the event? Because once you can understand these two things, the rest things are easy. What is the partition and what is the event? Any of you? Or read the question carefully once again. Yeah, you will find your answer there only. These are the two things that we need to understand: the partition and the event. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you need to write uh, the question. Okay. Yeah. Sharing this question once again, so please write the question and then tell me what is going to be the partition and what is going to be the event. I hope uh, all of you have read and written the question. So please tell me what is going to be the partition and then yeah, okay, like say got something. What about others? Yeah, the question is. I'll tell you the question. The question is: uh, a coin is tossed. Okay, and two uh, balls are drawn at random from on A and on B. So there are some black balls in uh, on A. There are some black balls in on B. 
So two types of balls are there: white balls and black balls. Okay. So then uh, we have to find the probability that uh, two balls drawn were black and drawn from the arm A. So this is the question. Okay. So we want to find uh, what is the partition and what is the event. So once we are uh, we get uh, the event and the partition then uh, we are able to uh, get it okay so this is the question that we have a coin is tossed if it turns up head two balls are drawn from on a otherwise two balls are drawn from b on a contains three black and five white balls on b contains seven black and one white ball what is the probability that on a was used given that both the balls are black okay so this is the question now tell me uh, what you have okay so this is the event and what is the partition The partition is on A and on B. Two bags. We have bag A and bag B. So this is the partition, and the event is getting two balls and both are black. Okay, so that is the event we have. Okay, so getting two black balls is the event, and uh, partition is A and B. Okay. So now uh, we need to understand. What happens here? Okay, so we go with the question. Okay, so we have we have two parts, ones A and B. Okay. The uh, on A contains how many B black and five white balls. Okay. The uh, on B contains seven. Black and one white ball. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to take these two balls. Okay. So we are drawing two balls. Okay. Uh, if you can see, the on A also contains eight balls. The B also contains eight balls. Okay. On A, tens eight balls, and B also has eight balls. Okay, so number of ways for two balls out of eight balls. Is equal to so what we are having eight C two. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, uh, if you see, we want these two uh, balls to be black. Okay, so what if uh, the black A is selected? Okay, so what we can say is the uh, on uh, A has B black. Okay. And then, so what we can say here? See, so number of ways two draw two black balls out of three balls is equal to three C two. Okay. 
Okay. And now, what about on B? On B has seven five points. So, what are we having? Number of base from two five. Of seven ball, it will be seven C. Okay. And now uh, we can see. So we have only two bags. Okay, either A and B. So we have partition defined on A and B. So what we have here, the probability of, of selecting bag A is half. And the probability of uh, selecting bag B is again half. Okay. And now find the event. So let E be the event getting two bag balls. Okay. So now I have to define uh, the Probability of uh, getting two uh, black balls if A bag is selected. So probability of uh, E on A. Okay, that means A bag is selected and I want to get uh, the black balls, two black balls. So what we have this is this is H C two, the total number of ways. I'm getting uh, two black balls when A is selected. So how many balls uh, in A we have? Three. So three C two. So that's what we're having here. So it is going to be three uh, C two. Okay. So three C two, and that's going to be three. Uh, and then, what is the probability of getting two black balls when B is selected? So it is again eight C two. And uh, we are here. This is seven uh, C two. So give me this probabilities uh, E on A and uh, E on B. So what is the probability that uh, E on B and E on A? Suppose give me what is E on A. Is the probability that E on A? Give me the simple fraction. Don't go for this one fraction. Understand? Is the probability of E on A? By twenty-eight. Okay. Today's so uh, year on A is three by twenty-eight. Okay. That's good. So three by twenty-eight. What about uh, the probability of uh, year on B? It is three by four. Okay. So year on B is three by four. Okay. Now uh, what I know is I know the probability of E on A, probability of E on B, and I know the probability of A and probability of B. And now I want to know the probability of A on E. Okay, because see, what is the probability that given that both balls are black, so that means the event uh, E had happened. We got the two balls which are black, and then I want to find out what are the chances that the, the on A was used. Okay, so now we have to calculate probability of A on B. Okay, so what we want? We want the probability. We know that uh, the two balls selected were black. What are the chances that the on A was used? Okay, so we can say. By 
neste ano. We have the probability of A on E is equal to probability of E on A into probability of A upon probability of E on A into probability of A plus probability of uh, E on B to probability of B. And, and that's what we have. So this is equal to what is the probability of uh, E on A? So E on A is uh, 3 by 20. And so the probability of uh, E on A is uh, E by 28. Probability of A is half upon, uh, this is uh, 3 by 28 uh, into half and plus, uh, this is 3 by 4 and half. We can cancel out this half from everywhere and we can write this is 3 by 28 upon 3 by 28 plus uh, 3 by 4. And I want uh, you to simplify this and then uh, give me uh, what is the answer uh, you get. So, what is the probability of A on E? I want uh, you to calculate this and then uh, give me the value. So give the value in this simple fraction. Uh, uh, this value. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, all of you have the value, correct value. So you can uh, see, you got the same value as uh, okay. So that's what you got. You can give me So what we got here, the probability that we got two black balls and the arm A was selected for getting this two black balls. Okay. So here, uh, this way, we are going to calculate the probability using the BS theorem. So this was a partition. So we are calculating the probability of partition over the event. Then we need uh, the BS theorem. Okay. So when we have to calculate the probability of the event, we use total probability theorem. So when we have to calculate the probability of the partition over the event, then we use the BS theorem. And this is also called as the first uh, probability theorem because we are finding the probability of the source. We are finding that uh, if I know that uh, the two balls are black, then what are the chances that bag A was used or on A was used? So that means I am trying to find out what is the source of getting this probability. Okay. And that's why uh, we use here base theorem and using the base theorem we calculate and then we calculate that uh, the probability. So, uh, we have any doubt uh, in these uh, two examples that we have solved? Great. So, if you don't have any doubt, it's very good. Yeah.